Good morning, New Zealand, and welcome to West Point News. I'm Darcy, and today on West Point News, we have a celebrity punch-up, a Russian assassination, and a terrifying race car accident. I'm Grayson, and first up, we have a rather strange event that happened at Countdown. Yesterday, a woman dressed in a banana suit got caught shoplifting at Countdown in Wanganui. She was recording herself committing the crime and then uploaded it to TikTok. In the recording, she said that she would steal as much as she could, but when she got there, she only stole five bananas and proudly left the supermarket singing Gang Gang style. Shoppers who saw the banana woman said they were shocked at at the woman's actions and they said that and they couldn't work out why she was dressed as a banana. A strange event for all who witnessed it. Here's our on the spot reporter Tilly with the people involved. Banana woman, the store manager and the TikTok follower. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. Banana woman, what motivated you to rob countdown? My motivation was watching someone rob a store on TV, it looked so fun and entertaining, I thought I'd rob a store myself as a banana. Was posting live to TikTok a good idea and why? Absolutely. I got over 100,000 followers. Hashtag crazy banana went viral. It's the biggest accomplishment of my life. Thanks, banana woman. And Brooklyn, you're the store manager. What was your reaction to the strange situation? Honestly, I was terrified and I didn't know what was, and what was going on and what to do. How will you prevent this from happening in the future? I will install more safety cameras around Countdown and always keep a phone out. Thank you. Now, Jayla, you watched this live to TikTok. How did you feel when you saw this? I was quite shocked when this crazy banana woman said that she would steal as much as she could. But when she stole five bananas and sent Gangnam Style, I genuinely thought it was a joke. What do you think should happen next? I think this crazy woman should pay a fine or even stay in jail for a month. She is honestly figuratively ill. Thanks, everyone, for your reactions. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Tilly. And now for something completely different. Amazingly, Arnold Schwarzenegger got into a fight with Andrew Tate. The six-year-old actor was casually walking down the street when he bumped into Arnold. Andrew. Arnold apologised, but Arnold, Andrew was offended and hit him in the face. Arnold ran off with a bloody nose, screaming, I'll be back. Tate's actions have caused controversy and has received a lot of negative feedback. Schwarzenegger has since started a TV series based on the event called The Punch. He talks about losing his friend. Andrew has a date in court and he could be facing jail time. Now over to our reporter Julian who has the famous people with him. Hello, I'm Julian and joining me now is Andrew, Arnold and Jamal who was a witness. Hi guys and thanks for joining us today. Firstly, Andrew, how did this fight start? So. I was just walking down the street, and then suddenly, Arnold Schwarzenegger appeared out of nowhere, so I had to react fast with a punch. What do you think will happen to you next? Arnold will probably snip, so that means I'll have to go to jail for a little bit. And Arnold, what color's your baguette? Thanks, Andrew. And Arnold, what do you think should happen now? Honestly, what he did was wrong and should face time in jail. Should the police be involved? Absolutely. He had no reason to punch me just because I accidentally bumped into him. Thanks, Arnold. And now, Jamal, you witnessed the whole incident. What was your reaction when you saw the fight? I was terrified. I think that Andrew should go to jail for harassing Arnold. What did you do after the fight? I immediately called the police so that they could deal with Andrew and so he can go to jail. Thanks, everyone. And we're out of time. Back to you, Grayson and Darcy. Thanks, Julian, and now for our next story. Tragedy has happened for the Russian government as Vladimir Putin has been killed in a terrorist attack. Putin was shot dead on the Russian border by a group who supported Ukraine. They stated that Putin had killed too, too many Ukrainians and he deserved payback for his actions. A spokesman said that this won't stop the Russians' fighting spirit in the war, but it will send a powerful message. Russia now has a new leader and has hoped she will consider stopping the war with Ukraine. 
Let's cross over to our on-the-spot reporter who has more on the situation. Over to you, Ava. Thanks, Grayson. I have a guard, the shooter, and the new president with me. Caitlin, you are Putin's guard. What were you thinking when the shot was fired? I was panicking. I didn't know who the shot was for. When Putin got shot, I was worried I was going to lose my job because I didn't even try to save him. Are you going to lose your job over this and why? I don't think I will because I was too far away to help him. Thanks, Caitlin. Now, Lily, you, you shot the president. Why have you done this violent act? I shot him dead because I didn't agree with his stupid ways of running the country. What is going to happen to you next? Well, court said that I would be immediately sent to jail, which I do not agree with. And Miss Volkov, you're the new president of Russia. What will be your first move? I'm going to stop the Ukraine and Russian war and try to make more peace between the two countries. Will Russia change because of this assassination? No, but I will hire more guards so I am more safe and hopefully all of this chaos will be forgotten about. Thanks for your time, you've run. Now back to you in the studio. Thank you, Ava. Now it's time to go over to Eva and Corbin with the weather update. Thank you, Darcy. The country has a real mixture of weather today. Starting up north, Auckland will have a cloudy day and a high of 22 degrees. A lovely day to have a walk along the beach. Next in Hamilton, it will be foggy in the morning but it will clear in the afternoon. Minus 2 overnight but it will be 24 during the day. Taupo will be wet in the morning so stay inside early. Clearing in the afternoon to a high of 18 degrees. So go to the hot pools if you can. Wanganui will be warm and sunny because it's the best place in the whole country to live in. A high of 28, so a great day to play outside. Wellington will be windy in the morning and then clear in the afternoon, so walk the dog after lunch. Christchurch will have a cold start to the day as a cold front crosses the South Island. Tie the trampolines down as winds could get very strong in the afternoon. And finally, Dunedin, you can expect some snow tomorrow and cold temperatures. Light the fire and stay warm indoors. That's all from us now. Good night, New Zealand. We'll, bu- we'll spot you back tomorrow at the news desk. Thanks, Eva and Corbin. And now for our final report. NASCAR driver Mitchell Frank had a near-death experience. During a race, he attempted to pass Richard Carter at a speed of 260 km per hour when his engine started to malfunction. This led to overheating and then a fire. He called his pit crew for help. He slowed down and needed to get out of his car. He managed to get out as the flames surrounded him. There was a massive explosion, but he escaped injury just in time. Thank you, Darcy. I'm Annabelle, and today I have the driver, an ambulance officer, and a crew member. Hello, Mitchell. Thank you for joining us. What happened when the car caught on fire? I was in shock, but I knew I needed to exit the vehicle immediately. Do you have any long-term injuries? No, although I thought I'd be paralysed from the waist down. Thanks, Mitchell. You're an ambulance officer. What did you do when you got to the crash site? At first I panicked, but then I knew I had to act fast. Do you have any advice for the driver? Yes, I think he should rest for a while and get his engine checked regularly. Thank you. Jess, as part of the team, what will you do next? Make sure we have the newest and safest engine model so it doesn't overheat once again. Will you change any safety procedures for the future? Yes, multiple, so Mitchell will have a safer racing experience. Well, thank you for joining us. This has been Annabelle. Back to the news desk. Thanks, Annabelle. Well, Grayson, that was a great show. Plenty, plenty happening around the world. Yes, Darcy, I really enjoyed that race car story, and you never know what the Russians will get up to. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you again next time. From the whole team at West Point News. Goodbye. Good.
Kaki Jay Anong.